How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to cut calories without feeling hungry. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBurk999. So I have cut calories before. I've done about 14 cutting cycles. Um, I am a bodybuilder and a power lifter, so I normally gain weight for a little bit of time, then I will cut the weight. Uh, my cutting cycles are normally two to three months and I drop anywhere from about 15 to 30 pounds. Um, so I know how to lose weight. I've lost weight. I know how to lose weight. I've been doing this for 12 years and yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty knowledgeable when it comes to cutting calories. Now I've cut calories before I've done it without feeling hungry. I've done it before while starving. So I, I know what you guys are going through you're trying cutting calories without feeling hungry makes the process so much easier so much easier because you don't need that willpower if you're starving all the time you need that willpower to be like don't eat don't eat don't eat but if you're cutting calories and you're not hungry it makes cutting weight so easy and that's what i do when i lose weight i make sure i'm not feeling super super hungry and there's certain ways to do that and there's ways that people can lose weight with feeling hungry and without feeling hungry the main thing in my opinion is to try to utilize everything to our advantage, everything. So the first thing that I would do is to make sure you're eating an adequate amount of protein. Protein is so important because it's been proven protein is the number one macronutrient that makes us feel full. So when I'm cutting weight, I'm cutting weight right now. My protein intake is about 210 grams of protein. I weigh about 190. So about one gram per pound of body weight. Now, fat is another macronutrient. And if you look at the keto diet, people will swear by the keto diet. Why? Because fat makes you feel full. So when I'm doing my diets, I make sure that I have actually a high fat intake as well. That leaves carbohydrates. Now, I still recommend having carbohydrates. I'm not a big fan of keto because it eliminates carbohydrates. It doesn't eliminate it, it just like lowers it almost to the point of being completely gone. Again, there's different types of keto, but most ketos are really, really low carb. Now, carbs are the number one source of energy for your brain, glucose. So if you cut that, then your brain has to use another energy source. So it's not really that, um, um, it's not really that optimal in my opinion. You kind of want carbohydrates. So. What I do is when I have my carbohydrates, I still have carbohydrates, I make sure when I eat them, they're high, high, high in fiber because fiber also makes you feel full. So we got protein that makes us feel super, super full. We got fat that makes us feel super, super full. And then we got fiber that makes us feel full. So we have three things that are making us feel super full. And I find when I'm eating stuff like this, I am not hungry at all. So. A quick, quick example, what I eat in the morning is I will have two Greek yogurts and two scoops of peanut butter. So right there, uh, the Greek yogurt gives me 20 grams of protein. The peanut butter gives me, the two scoops gives me about 10 grams of protein. So that's 30 grams of protein. The Greek yogurt has about um, 20 grams of carbs. And then the peanut butter has some carbs too. And I am getting fat too. So I get about 30 grams of protein, get about the 40 grams of carbs, and I get about 20 about 15 grams of fat. So I got my protein, got my fat, got my carbohydrates, and I got some fiber in there too. I'm good to go. Um, so that's a sample meal that I would eat. Um, another huge tip that I will tell you, and this is something that really, really helps me. Have you ever cut weight and after you've ate, you, you feel hungry? Like an hour later, you're like, oh, I just ate, now I feel starving. This is very, very common with cutting weight. And what this is, is that's your body tricking you in to uh, telling you that you're thirsty when um, it's actually giving you the hunger signal. So you can feel hungry and in reality, you're actually thirsty. So if this happens to you, if you just ate and you feel super, super hungry, what I recommend to do is to drink at least one cup of water, maybe two cups of water, depends, but make sure you have some water. This happens to me all the time. I just ate, I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna drink some water. So I have about two cups of water and guess what? Not hungry at all. This is a huge mistake because what people will do is they'll eat an hour later, they'll eat again. And they'll just keep doing this when in reality, they're just thirsty. So this is very, very common. <laughs> and 
And yeah, that is my tips, you guys. Um, good protein, good fats. I like fats like animal meat, like ground beef, because it has protein and fat in it. I like eggs, has protein and fat. Um, I like chicken, I like tuna. Those are lean sources, so they don't have fat in them or low amounts of fat. So I will combine them usually with like almonds or cashews or something. I might make a salad with like a tuna salad or a chicken salad with like dressing and some almonds because it gives me my protein and my fat. Uh, for snacks, I'll have protein bars. Uh, the one protein bar I have, it gives me about eight grams of fat. 15 grams of protein and like 30 grams of carbs. So I get my fat, my protein, my carbs, and then also loaded with fiber too. So that makes me feel full as well. So that's what I would do. Um, end of video, thank you so much for watching.